Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I'm your host, Ori, and today we are going to be diving back into the Sweden is not overpowered campaign, which is, yeah, it's not true. Don't believe the paradox propaganda. Sweden is overpowered. Anyway, last time we kind of got our rebel problems sorted out in these four problems we took, uh, four provinces we took, excuse me. Uh, the Russian bear decided he didn't want to be allied to us anymore, so that's kind of scary. So I decided to uh, pick up an alliance with the Poles. Just to kind of, just as a deterrent against Muscovy trying to take Neva and Ingermanland back from us. So yeah, today, um, I think we're going to be fabricating on Norway and preparing to go to war with Norway and Denmark. The main reason uh, we're going to do it that way is because Denmark uh, allied the Livonian order, and we need all of their coastal provinces. I think we might even actually need Metau, Riga, and Livland as well for this achievement. Not fully sure, but we do need some of their land. Same with the Teutons. But, uh, yeah, we need to break up some alliances first. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, we're going to just kind of, we're just going to go see where things take us. Okay. Livonia is forming claims on us. Or the Livonian order. So, we are still under a regency for another year. And then we will get Christoph Porse. 515, I'll take that. Not even mad. Not even mad. Let's look at our technology. We are about to get Miltec 5. Uh, does anyone around us have Miltec 5? Yep, everyone around us has Miltec 5. Nope, just the Russians. So the Russians just kind of focused heavily on Miltec. I think we are going to do the same and just try and keep on pace. Okay, we will get a claim on Ocel now. I really hope Poland doesn't take too many of these coastal provinces because we need them. We need them desperately for this achievement. It, there may end up being a massive war against the Poles. But for now, they are an ally. It's an alliance of convenience more than anything. Or perhaps I should say it's an alliance of uh, deterrence for the Russian bear. There we go. Ooh, a 641. Not, I mean, it, he doesn't have it where it counts in the military, but, and fertile, so you get a good chance of a new heir. Um, yeah, I'm totally all right with this. We're going to, we need 651 military power because we haven't embraced the Renaissance yet, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting 11 military power a month. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, let's see how much money are we making right now? Let's check our economy. 1.82. I think we could go ahead and fire you because you're not paying for yourself. There we go. 273. We'll go ahead and hire a diplomatic advisor so we don't far, fall too far behind on Diplotech. Oh, diplomat yeah. Diplomatic reputation or improved relations? I think we're going to go for the Diplo rep. I'm okay with that. Absolutely. So... Yeah, it looks like uh, Poland's going to be able to win this. Uh, okay, so the Novgorodian separatists keep wanting to rise up. Let's see about this. It's just an Ingerman land. That's where the unrest is. So, hmm. Army maintenance is low. We can bump it up a little bit. And just go ahead and send the whole army to Ingerman land. Just to kind of crush that a little bit. We will harsh treatment this once. Just to get it down. Don't like burning that mill power, but yeah, we do get a lot. We we get ten a month now, so that's so totally okay. Seven point seven for unrest. Just chilling, dealing with the unrest right now. Uh, actually, we are going to cease our spy network in the Livonian order, and we're going to get it in Denmark, so we can get some claims on Norway. Do we have a CB on Norway already? We do. We have a conquest. Hmm. Let's see. And Denmark has rivaled us. Uh, 
Okay, so we are gonna have to wait for a little bit before going after Denmark. We need this. We need their manpower to pretty much get destroyed. Let's see about Norway. Oh, excuse me. The coffee is not sitting well this morning. Norway, Norway. There it is. Norway only has five thousand troops, but they have uh, quite a bit of manpower. So we are gonna just sit tight for a sec. What is our mission? Um, oh, so, yeah, never finished that. Let's go ahead and pull our diplomat back from wherever he was. I should have paid more attention to that. Oh, well. Go ahead and improve relations with the Pope. Just so we can get that mission done and get something better. I was wondering why we hadn't gotten a new mission in a while. I is smart, guys, I swear. Buted succession in Tyrone. Where is Tyrone? Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. I don't think we can do anything with that, but... Never know. So you guys are getting your asses kicked by the Poles. So are you guys. Oh, oh wow, that war is over already. What? Huh, I don't get that. Fortunately, uh, Muscovy rivaled Denmark, so there's no chance of an alliance there. And the Poles don't really like Denmark either. Well, I say that. Let's look at our uh, opinion map mode. So the Poles. Let's see how, there we go. That's how we check this. So these guys are kind of friendly towards each other. This could be a big problem. Mercantilism, yep. Take that mercantilism. Don't like doing it, but... We are getting the unrest sorted out. We can tech. Let's go ahead and get our mill tech, because we get better infantry now. And as Sweden, that's what we are all about. We will go for the longbow, just for the morale purpose for morale purposes. A little better spread of pips on our units. Not much, but a little. Novgorod's gonna die. There's, yeah, Novgorod's dead. We should probably start rebuilding the navy at this point. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, excuse me again. Go ahead and queue up. Mm, we'll queue up eight. Eight, eight galleys. That'll get us to ten galleys. Four transports. I'm okay with that. Yep, just running on speed four. I don't know if we'll actually have anything super exciting happen this episode. So we kind of need to recover a little bit. Well, no, we are at maximum manpower. Hmm. So if I was to declare war on Norway... Let's see, actually. I need 20. Okay, so we need 25 to fabricate another claim on Norway. So we'll do that. Really do want to get this unrest sorted out over here. I wish we had feudal de jure law. Yeah, I really wish we had feudal de jure law right now. But we don't even have any of the uh, age objectives done yet. So we're not getting splendor points very quickly. Growth of the administration. Oh, I don't like this already. So, the clear... Let's see. Somebody's going to lose a lot of loyalty. I, I like this... Uh, I don't know. This global trade power is pretty good, but so is this, lo this monthly autonomy change. It's for, what, 10 years? No, let's go with the trade power. Yep, the nobility can be super pissy for a while. That's fine. It's not the first time they've been pissed off in this campaign, and it most certainly will not be the last time. Okay, so... How are we doing on Miltech now? Okay, so we are just going to purely focus Miltech so we can survive, basically, the onslaught of the Russian bear. Novgorod Separatists again. Just treatment them back down. Oh, I missed the chance to fabricate another claim on Norway. Oh, well. 
So let's check this. If we were to declare war on Norway, ooh, Pomerania and the Livonian Order would get called in. Hmm. Being said, if I was to declare war on, uh, no. Nope, neither of my allies are interested. Austria is not going to be interested in any conquests I do in the, uh, HRE. I don't have enough favors with you guys yet. Let's check how many we're getting. We get a favor every two years with Poland and every three years with Austria. So Austria is about to be, we almost can call Austria into an offensive war. Uh, be another, let's see, 12 years before Poland can come into an offensive war with us. We are at two of four on our uh, relationship slots. So... So who else rivaled Denmark? Burgundy. Burgundy, would you care for uh, some relation improvement with us? I believe you would. Okay, this is fine. Everything is fine right now. So, trying to say that as confidently as I can. Everything is fine. We just need this unrest to be chilled. Clergy. Okay, so now we can interact with our estates again, and I think that might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and seek support of the clergy. Ooh, we need to send an emissary to the Pope. Now we can get our 100 admin. I'm okay with that. Burgers. Uh, you guys can get your Monopoly charters. Uh, um, hmm. Never, never, never. It's your... See, I'm trying to look for development. We can't really give the burgers any land. Because none of our land's super well developed. Um, I mean, that's eight, seven, thirteen. Yeah, there's nothing we can give the burgers, unfortunately. So we'll only be able to get 50 uh, Diplo points out of this. But that's enough for us to get uh, Diplo Tech 5, and I'm very happy with that. There we go. Trade range. Trade efficiency. Naval maintenance went up. That's okay, though. You guys can be mothballed for now. So, let's see here. Hmm. Ooh, damn it. Okay. I knew that was going to... I kind of figured that would happen. So, yeah, you're not a vassal now. We'll have to get you in on this. Um, yeah. Oh, Pomerania just declared war. Oops. Hmm. We do have a CB. Again, oh, the Teutons broke there. Oh, okay. Riga and Denmark. I don't think we could handle both of them right now. Kind of wish uh, the Russian bear was still friendly. Russian bear is friendly, though. There we go. Uh, conquer Gotland. Conquer Blecking. It's telling me to go to war, so I think we're going to have to go to war. Do we want the manpower recovery speed? Yeah. So we'd have to conquer Blecking. Who are your allies? Pomerania and Livonia. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we might be able to handle that. You're in the personal union under Poland, so... I mean... It would actually be nice if we could, uh... Pull our diplomat back from Rome. Uh, it would be nice if we could get the Poles to join us in this war. And they are just not interested. They are not interested at all. What about land? Okay, what if I declared on these guys? Would you come in, Poland? No, neither of you would join me. So we're going to have to sit tight for a minute and build up some more favors, unfortunately. We're at four there still. Come on, Austria. In nine years. Yeah, when's our next favor coming in for Poland? Beginning of this year, excellent. Or beginning of next year, excuse me. Aha, uh -huh, we gained the Humiliate Rival CB on Novgorod. That's, uh, that's super helpful right now. 
Okay. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start spying on Pomerania. Because we need all of their land. Actually. Hmm. Mecklenburg. We need to kill Mecklenburg. We're gonna need to kill Lubeck. Lubeck's under siege, though. Oh, that's strange. Okay, so... Oh, all of our galleys are done. Everyone go to Stockholm. And we're gonna mothball our fleet for right now. Group, mothball, group, save as much money as we can. We are making two ducats a month. We can build some province improvements. I mean, we probably should. Let's see, do we have any centers of trade? Um, do we, do we, do we? Oh, we have Neva. Neva's a local estuary. Okay, and that's the Novgorod node. Uh, how much would it cost to build a market here? A hundred ducats. We will hang tight for a little bit. Should probably go ahead and get some light ships going too for our trade. Yeah, let's just spend our uh, spend a couple, spend forty ducats on that and get these cranked out. Production research flawed. Nah, you guys are wrong. It's fake news. It's not flawed. I don't like losing that prestige, but I want Admin Tech 5 so we can finally pick up an idea group. It'd be nice if we could get the uh, Renaissance. Oh no, our two-star general died. It'd be nice if we could get the Renaissance up here. So I think what I might do actually is spin some Diplo, point, Diplo power. Uh, developing Stockholm a little bit. Not the admin power, obviously, because, well, we kind of need that. Let's see, so we're making seven a month, four, seven admin points a month, four diplo points, and ten military. That's okay. That's actually pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So. Yeah, just an episode of preparing, pretty much. And I think this is actually where we're going to end up calling this episode. We're fairly well prepared for what's uh, about to come, which is either going to be a war with the Livonians or a war with Norway and Denmark. So yeah, I thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.